Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. I've already had three cups of coffee. I hope you're also having multiple cups of coffee because Mondays can be hard, but I feel really excited about today. And I'm mostly excited because I've been spending the weekend thinking about grit. Okay, so um, I wanna speak to you about grit and tenacity. And the definition of tenacity is the quality of being very determined. Small example, there's a manager in my town and she steals my staff. And at first I was so annoyed at her. What's best is her name is Tanisha. <laughs> Anyways, but this is a good story because at first I was like, what, how dare you? And then my husband's like, isn't that what you're supposed to do? Like, isn't she just sort of doing her job? And my best friend Heidi said that also. And I was like, yeah, she is. And that's so annoying. But Tanisha is tenacious. Now I'm sort of jealous that's not my name because it's really cool. I'm also trying to make this fashion. Anyways, okay, so we've talked about how you were made to do hard things. So you need to stop looking for easy things or expecting things to be easy and start being motivated when stuff's hard. Like I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna nail it, it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a really good job. Let's all try to be more like Tanisha, being audacious and going after things. Um, Okay, so this morning my husband was like, I really hope I get an easy file today. And I was like, oh, I hope you do too. But I'm about to make a video about how you should look for hard things. So it's still good to enjoy when stuff's easy and be thankful, but we need to look at what's hard. Okay, a list of things that I want you to ask yourself, how much do they really work? These are easy button items. Buying followers online. Okay, is that real? Not really. Taking shortcuts, sometimes still good, but mostly not. Instant fame. So think about celebrities who have instant fame. What does that look like in their lives? Usually they derail after that. Flu shots, I'll leave that there. I know some people who just love them and they're always like, this isn't the flu shot flu, I got a different flu. I'm like, okay, so to each their own. There are so many valuable parts of the grind that produce grit hence gritty grind, um, constant vulnerability. When you are doing things you're afraid of, you are living in a state of constant vulnerability. You are nervous, you are humble usually, uh, you're not cocky for sure, and um, the tears that you share with others, um, sometimes I share a lot of tears. My husband thinks I cry every day. I don't cry every day, but if you ask my assistant manager, Teresa, it's mostly three times a week. Um, it forces you to connect with others. When you're vulnerable and you tell them what your struggle is and, and you help, you work it out together, it connects you. So vulnerability produces connection and we don't have that if we're only ever doing easy things and we don't need any other people. It forces you to slow down and value delayed gratification because our society is all about now, now, now. I went to a digital marketing conference last week where they said the attention span of people is 15 seconds. I know that's true because I watch, you know, recipes like cooking videos where someone's like putting eggs in, putting sugar in. I, I, I could watch that all day. But if the video's too long, I'm like, I'm out, which is probably why you guys have tapped out at three minutes. Um, it gives you wisdom. Wisdom is so valuable. Wisdom. We need more wisdom and we don't get that from doing easy things, taking shortcuts, etc. Do you know if you get the flu, you build more immunity? and you are stronger, just saying, something to think about. Um, you realize failure doesn't end you. You don't end, it doesn't end you. You just fail. And then you're like, what am I gonna do with this failure? How am I gonna move forward from this failure? All of a sudden, you're more gritty. Because failure makes you strong. So how do you feel when you meet someone or you hear someone's journey? Last week, I, last week I heard Manjeet Minhas from Dragon's Den, her story, so cool, and it's long. Yeah, she's like one of the richest women under 40, I'm pretty sure in Canada, and I couldn't believe she's just two years older than me, but she started from nothing, and it's really, really awesome to hear, and I have so much respect for her because her journey was an instant. And she, she looked, she was audacious, she had tenacity. Those are my two favorite words this week. Everything she did, she just kept pushing. She was so persistent with her dream. And she didn't know where it was gonna go, but she was totally sold out um, 
to her dream. So you have to be sold out, you have to work hard, you have to be persistent and be tenacious. I'm start calling myself Tanisha. And I might send this video to her because she hardly knows me, but I just respect it. I respect people who work hard and who face challenges with um, hope, who face challenges um, just full on. And if you start looking at these stressors, as good things because you know it's gonna make you better and stronger, it's gonna change your business, it's gonna change your life. So what is, what's the next step? What's the next thing you have to do that you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Guess what, you can and you should because you're worth it. Have a great week.